We're going to begin this hour with the all-important hunt for the perfect Christmas tree. Have you started that yet? It can be, as you know, a bit of a holiday challenge. There it is. Gee, do they still make wooden Christmas trees? This little green one here seems to need a home. Having a perfectly decorated tree is not what Christmas is about. It's about being with the people that you love. That is nice. And we're done. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it is a thing. If those clips have taught us anything, it's that the spirit of the season is the most important thing to find, which along with the tree is what Tony, no, this is Tony and Nate found. <laughs> we are 40 miles, believe it or not, from New York's Times Square here at the Emmerich Tree Farm in the Hudson Valley. But we might as well be at the North Pole because we found it, baby. Christmas. Not Christmas exactly, but Christmas tree. Okay, let's go check in with the owner, Kurt Emery. It's Christmas time. All right, it's Kurt, so here's Christmas the background. Time. I have cut down my own tree before. It's a little right. bit of a family tradition with my oh. little ones. Nate, however, has not. Okay. So I want a tree here with uh, a good shape. Yep. Oh. And we need that scent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's big. We when need you walk the in scent. the house, yeah. I want to yeah. smell it. I want a tree, basically, if I saw this tree on a dating app, I, I would swipe right. We got a, a whole bunch of them down there. Yeah. What's the fastest way? Uh, well, fast and safe are two different things. I'm gonna see I don't care about uh, safe. What's the difference? Okay. okay, there you go. Oh, okay. well, here, take the saw. Oh, oh yeah. Take the saw. Oh, can I yeah. run with the saw? Yeah. Uh, no, Wait, no, Nate, run with the saw. What is going on with that tree? It's not as green as that one, for example. Oh, look at that one right there. You want some height, huh? This tree would actually be perfect color-wise if it didn't have this big chunk out of the back here. Yeah, I think we could find the perfect one. I mean, when you approach this tree from this angle here, I have to say, it, it's gorgeous. I was thinking the same thing. She says, go for it, Nate. You start with 10 fingers and... <laughs> You don't need all of them. One time when I was a kid, there was an owl in the tree. Really? Flew around the house. And uh, I always got a little bit afraid. <laughs> cut it low. OK. When it falls, do I let it fall or do I catch it and lay it down gently? I don't know. I'm going to lay it down gently like a baby. I was going to lie here for a little while. You good? I think we did it. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? That's what I'm talking about. This makes me feel like a man! Yeah! Oh, hey, 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 I got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, oh my God. Everybody's gathered around the Christmas tree. Let me ask you, was it heavy? Oh, uh, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, 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 that's what 11 years growing in the field will do for it. Yeah. I can put some, some pantyholes on. There we go. Yeah. There we go. No, butt first, man. Butt first? Yeah, butt this first. One? Trees travel butt first. I kind of want to bring it to Gail's house. Yeah, but I'm not sure she would like us just popping up on her like popping that. popping in, all right. But I do have a spot. It's a place where some senior citizens live. We can go there and provide a little holiday spirit. Hey, sounds good to me. When do you feel like it's okay to start decorating for Christmas? I mean, when you have a Christmas tree on your roof, I think you need to create a welcoming environment for that tree. So, yeah, that's yeah, true. The time is now. We did do the cookies and milk for Santa growing up. The cookies were always half eaten, which confused me because I'm like, why would he only eat a few of them? You who, know? who does that? Who does that? I remember always getting a kick out of um, a song that was like an anti-Christmas Christmas song. It was called Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Oh. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yeah, yeah. As for me and Grandpa, <laughs> we believe. I love that. What's all about, Nate? Yule tight's coming. So ho, 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 everybody. Hey. Merry oh, Christmas. Oh, oh. You got to put it the put the spike in the hole that we've drilled. It's in there. Oh. oh. Nice catch. Former NFL receiver, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just like on the Christmas card, hoping that he shows. 
I hope Santa appreciates all of this work here. I feel like Rambo. Nothing is over! <laughs> Nothing! You just gotta lasso it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we got a little yeah. Yeah, we got a little rhythm going. Yeah. 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 You want help with yeah, the Yeah, of course we do. Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce theme. Oh, that is a little, <laughs> little queen bee. How we looking? Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas song? Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh! <laughs> Two, one, happy holidays! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas. That was great. That was good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Yes. That looked good. Yeah. Shout out to Emmerich Tree Farm. Yes. Okay. And the Harborview Senior Living Community in North Bergen. Yeah. Well, first they look like, oh, what are you guys doing? Then they seem to really get into it. I love the lady that her song was Grandma Got. I love that song, too. She said she grew up with it, and then her kids now sing it for her about her. I think it's great. <laughs> I love a sense of humor. It was nice. Yeah. Nate, did you good. have that outfit in your wardrobe? I'm just curious, because that looked a little different from what I you I pulled that out the closet, Gail. You did? Okay. Okay. Very tight. I didn't know they made a legging and a jean material. <laughs> they were kind of snug. Um, it's the holiday season. I have been eating a lot of cookies and milk. No, that was nice. Uh, that was great. Very nice. Okay. And we can bring a tree to your house. If yeah, you Gail, if like, you want, you want know, to snook you up. Right. We're starting a business. See, see in Hawaii. It's called can, the, uh, can you bring it there? Ebony yeah. and ivory trees. Yeah. Bring, bring it to Hawaii, please. 